simplest form of dynamic auscultation is checking the effect of inspiration and expiration on the various auscultatory events which we were taught in the very beginning of our career. Yet dynamic auscultation is a wide term which includes various physical and pharmacological maneuvers to assess the characteristics of heart sounds and murmurs. In the era prior to color Doppler echocardiography, we had to rely solely on dynamic auscultation for the differential diagnosis of many cardiac conditions. Some of the methods applied are Valsalva maneuver, change of position, exercise, observation of post-ectopic beat, compression of both brachial arteries with the blood pressure cuff, and pharmacological maneuvers like inhalation of amyl nitrate. We know that right-sided heart sounds and murmurs increase with inspiration due to the increase in venous return and consequent increase in flow through the right-sided chambers. The only right-sided event which is better heard in expiration is the phasic ejection click of valve pulmonary stenosis. As the doming pulmonary valve is already partially domed at the end of diastole in inspiration, the opening movement is less in inspiration. In expiration, lower filling pressure of the right ventricle keeps the pulmonary valve less domed at the end of diastole so that the abrupt opening in systole causes a louder ejection click. Phasic changes of Korakow sounds during blood pressure measurement in inspiration and expiration is useful in documenting the level of pulses paradoxes. Most cardiac murmurs decrease in length and intensity during a Valsalva maneuver. The classical exceptions are the murmur of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and mitral valve prolapse. These are louder and longer with Valsalva strain because of the decreased left ventricular preload and hence decreased cavity size. Though these two murmurs behave similarly with Valsalva maneuver, observation in post-ectopic beat can differentiate between the two. In the post-ectopic beat with the longer preceding diastole, larger ventricular volume decreases mitral valve prolapse 